All right. I was brought to my attention in my last video that I didn't show how to import an image. So I'll show you how to import, a, especially a map image, into your system now. I don't suggest, if, you, if you've already uploaded it, you're going to see it's already in your library here. I don't suggest importing it from there, because it's going to make it small. So, you know, you see if I drag it out here, it makes it tiny. And it just makes it difficult to work with and to get properly enlarge. So what we're going to do, is we're going to drag this like right out uh, towards the middle. Let's see, let's get it so we can see the, all, the, the whole white. I'm going to drag it so it's like kind of in the middle of that white area. You know, this file is about 4 megabytes, so on my crappy internet, it's going to take a little bit to upload. One thing you see I have here is a calculator, because once it's uploaded, we are going to take a look at the dimensions to make sure the dimensions are where they should be. Uh, I like the width to be in the two to 3,000 area, and then the height will be naturally where it needs to be once you get the width at an appropriate area. So sometimes that means having to multiply it by uh, two or four or something. Well, that didn't really do what I was hoping for. Let's drag it out in the middle. Check the dimensions. The dimensions are ridiculously tiny. Um, wow, I don't know why it. Do I I don't know why it does that. To be honest with you, I really have no idea. Um, wow, I mean, that's just really bad. So if we take the two ten, let's say multiply it by twelve. Get the 2520 and take the 280, multiply it by 12. We're going to get 3360. And it should retain. Uh, the map should still look fine. So let's go to our page. Check our units. Get our units. Uh, 45 by 50 maybe. I forget what we did with the other one. Let's drag the map down. Now let's zoom in to make sure it still looks good at 150%. Yep, still looks good. Like I said, I'm not sure why it does that. Why it makes it tiny like that. It's uh, kind of aggravating. But you can fix it. You can get it to whatever dimensions you need by going to that set dimensions. And it should get it to where you want it. And then again, to align the grid, we would just go up here by the 9. Right click. Align the grid. Select that. 3x3 three three square. Just accept it as it is. You want to hold that Alt key. Well, I skipped a step. So we're, we're going to look at... We're going to zoom out to make sure that it's still all on that white page. Give us a little room to work with. <clears throat> we'll zoom back in. Get this Wind up like so. Let's go up to the top. Scrunch that down a little. Looks pretty good. Come over here to the right. Looks like we need to drag that out a little. Looks all right. Over here to the left. Looks like we should drag that out a little. Everything seems to be maintaining. Oops, something happened here. We're, we don't have the whole bottom. So let's go back out to 20%. Well, we should have the whole bottom. 150 up. Oh, no, when we come back in here, it is not showing us <clears throat> the entirety of the map, and I wonder why that is. Oh, 
Well, shoot. I don't know. Well, that was weird. Let's go back to the dimensions. We're missing some height, it looks like. <clears throat> Let's just set that to 55. Close that. Drag that down. Let's go back to 150. Go back to that 9. Hold the Alt key. Line those up. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. See, once you do the adjustments and you get it to where you want, it makes life a lot easier. I think these actually look pretty good too. We're just gonna we're gonna scrunch it up a little bit. Come over here. I think this looks pretty good, personally. Let's just do a quick once around. Yeah, no, I think that looks pretty pretty good. So let's let's drop down to about seventy percent. Let's go to the token layer. Let's drop on a token. A mighty warrior. Let's poke him around a little bit. Let me go ahead and close this. Poke him around. He's snapping too pretty good. Everywhere we go, he seems to snap right to where the grid squares are. I'm pretty. I, I'm pretty happy with this. I think that worked out pretty well. So there you have it. How to upload. Snap it to grid and, and get it all nice and and tight. And I think that worked out really well this time as opposed to the last video where I struggled a little bit. Hope, hope this helps you out.